Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn and this will be for the 14th to the 20th of June 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my page. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Just know it's a general reading. It's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. Um, for this reading, I'm going to be using tarot and might end with an oracle deck or two. Okay. Let's have a look what you've got going on, Capricorn. Need to focus on your self-worth. There might have been a situation where you're being hustled um, or you're putting too much time in at work for some of you. Somebody might have had options. They could have been, uh, I guess, com have commitment issues. They could have been indecisive. They could have had too many options or addictions. Maybe you need to get clarity on what you desire so you can move forward. Stop procrastinating. Go make a choice because there you, there's your choices. And you've got the Ace of Swords in reverse as well. So you've got some clouded judgment. You, you need to get some inner clarity so you can figure out what it is you want to do. Um, the one on the bottom is the three of pentacles as well. So I feel like you are learning from a situation. You're focusing on making money. You're doing some sort of collaboration, some sort of work where you're being recognized. But for a lot of you, you're just kind of learning from the situation. Okay, so tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. You're focusing on you. You're not speaking your truth in a situation that maybe you need to. Um, maybe it's regarding the choices you don't want to make. Somebody could also have other options. But I feel like, yeah, it's, it's left you feeling exhausted and burnt out and overwhelmed, indecisive. But it's telling me you need to keep the faith because there will be some sort of new beginning coming. You've got to break the cycle first. And at the moment you're stalling, you don't want that to happen. Okay, one more shovel. Can you tell me more? What are you not speaking your truth about? What are you not speaking your truth? Ooh. Maybe there's a lot you're not speaking your truth about. So there's a situation um, that was very hostile and now this person may want to come back and reconcile with you. But you are not ready to walk away from this either though. Um, with the death card in reverse maybe you're resisting the change but also feel like you need to do some work on you get rid of whatever doesn't serve you um, but I feel like you are impatient but you're trying to have you're trying to make progress but it's very slow like I feel like not things are happening not quick enough and you're kind of keeping everything inside you are trying to avoid conflict by expressing how you feel which is why you need to express how you feel um, then I feel like you've got the sun and the ace of wands, like things, like it's letting me know your future is going to be bright, your future is going to be fine. And there might be, for, whether you focus on your career and it's some creative project or something like that, it can be a fiery passion you're beginning in a relationship, but things are going to work out okay. And I feel like it's just letting me know that, but at the moment you're resisting the ending and resisting speaking your truth. And keeping everything inside and I feel like you know about their choices you're trusting your intuition you may be consulting psychics and tarot readers um, but yeah I guess in the end this situation was probably just the lost opportunity right so then as I said people have got choices which is the same card as what I just we have here is what I just read to you a second ago it's the same card seven of cups 
somebody has choices to make or addictions. So you, you need some clarity. You need to make a choice. But you don't want to break a cycle. You're resisting the change. And you're all up in your head about it. You're having nightmares, anxiety, fear, worry. Um, trust your intuition, though. You're trying to avert a disaster. Anymore. Yeah, you're not wanting to walk away. You're indecisive. You don't know if you want to walk away or not. Definitely got choices to make. And then you have the Ace of Swords, as I said, in reverse. So you cloud of judgment. There's obstacles. You need some inner clarity. You're rethinking an idea. Did I do the right thing? Did I not do the right thing? You're really just up in your head about somebody who is like the devil energy. He has addictions, drugs, sex, money, alcohol, gambling, codependency, any of that kind of stuff. And they're going to come back and want this relationship with you. Fresh start. Maybe this person has money. Maybe they're very wealthy. But it's probably you need to do some, take some time. You need to do some meditation. You need to do some contemplating. You need to do some recuperating. Just spend some time kind of figuring out what you want. Take a rest. Have a rest. Be by yourself. You're really hesitant to kind of go back there. Because it's a burden. You know, it offered you, and it did offer you your Nine of Cups, but did it? And I feel like you're all up in your head about it. What you want and what it's offering. It might even come back to you offering you everything with the Ace of Wands and the the sun card, they're going to try and offer you, you know, everything you want to make you happy. Whatever it is, you know, you do this, you come back, back with me, I'll make you happy. This person is not your person. But you need to see the deception. You're not seeing it. But as I said, I mean, the devil card's all about temptation. It's going to come back to you with some sort of tempting offer. Learn from the past. This is not... There's obstacles, but you're not kind of progressing either. Um, you don't have faith that there's going to be something better for you out there. But you are like an option, a key on the ring, but you are going to end up moving on, having closure issues. There it is with the lightning. It's like the tower card in, um, in the tower. It's, yeah, it's like some sudden change. Maybe because you're frustrated. But this person is not your person. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. Hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you with the next reading. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, bye.